Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 and game 4 of a best of 5 series between Mouse Nama and Mouse Mana here on Metalopolis. Red versus Blue, great game so far. Cybernex Core being rewarped in a um, curious position on the Cybernex Core as I would not leave it that exposed. One Cybernex Core already sniped down by Marauders. You destroy it once, shame on me. You destroy it twice because it's in the same location. Uh, no, shame on you, shame on me. Yeah, that's the phrase. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I can't even say the phrase right. We have more ghosts and the Mobius reactor now being researched as well. So the more ghosts joining in on that army. I'm assuming that at some point Mana needs to go for um, Colossi with ghosts now in play. Those ghosts are going to be able to deal a lot of damage. Zealots now quickly trying to come in as well. Able to snipe down many of those Zealots. However, Psy Storm quickly dealing damage there. And now more Zealots and another Psy Storm as those units were holding position. Zealots being beautifully microed, simply ignoring that. And now an Archon merge there. So Archon now being merged as that as it does not want to get sniped down and now zealots will simply be able to just walk up this location scanner sweep revealing absolutely nothing as those high templar are now trying to walk in that's a lot of high templar a lot of a lot of size storm and now a nuke being launched here so not quite sure why he's trying to merge an archon in the middle of this fight here but a nuke now being launched mana not keeping track of it and will take a lot of damage across the board but there's so much damage being dealt in comes the nuke dealing so much damage across there and a nuke in the middle of that fight. We do see one medevac, no lo no cargo here. As both sides took heavy, heavy losses. Nama at a 3200 mineral army. Meanwhile, Mana sitting at 1325. Income wise, we now see Mana sitting a little bit stronger. But with three mules now being called down on the high yield mineral location. Nama should be able to get a stronger economy going in just a few seconds. There we go. Getting so much um, so much of an economy there. We now see the robotics bay and another robotics facility. So we are going to see Colossi. Colossi are going to simply roll over this army as I do not see any Vikings in the production coming in from Nama. And if Nama is not ready for those Colossi, he's going to have a difficult, difficult time. Obviously, Ghosts do not have Lockdown in StarCraft 2. High Templar here getting a size norm across so many of those units there. Taking so much damage, taking across so many feedback, or sorry, so many of those mules there. And now, just beautifully done once again. More size storm. Oh, EMP Shockwave, nicely done. <coughs> As I have to sneeze, oh, I hate it when that happens. And another side storm coming in. Yes, there we go. And another EMP shockwave. So these EMP shockwaves being beautifully um, cast and launched those EMP rounds from those ghosts, saving this bio army so far. However, nothing's going to save them from a range 9 Colossus as those units are probably being chrono boosted. Taking a look at it. Yeah, it does look like they are being chrono boosted out over here. Um, yeah, one chrono boost, uh, chrono boost on that research as well. Where's that second robotics facility? Down over here, not being chrono boosted, but it should be. You can now see Mana running off of four bases as this bio army continue to move out. Taking a look at the upgrades, two zero upgrades. So um, very, very heavy upgrades indeed. Mana may be able to get off another side storm there. Beautifully done, dealing so much damage. Another side storm coming in, EMP Shockwave with a quick snipe to finish off that one high Templar. Zealots in the front ground. And it would take a lot of damage from those ghosts. Ghosts are able to deal, what, 24 damage per attack against Zealots. And then and when you add in the Snipe and the EMP Shockwave, those Zealots don't really stand a chance. One Observer now making its way across the field as another medevac able to gain sight. Sees the Photon Cannon, sees the Nexus here, and those units are going to simply walk in. No Sentry here, and in comes a Nuke. So a Nuke tactically placed in order to make sure that no units are coming in from the north. And But they are going to be coming in from the north, simply avoiding this. EMP Shockwaves missing those High Templars. Feedback hitting a lot of those ghosts there, and now doing a Scanner Sweep. This one Nexus will get taken down. However, a lot of Side Storm, a lot of damage being dealt. And now, Mana taking this time to move out with a Colossi army with a range of 9. We'll be able to deal a lot of damage very, very quickly. SEVs um, currently trying to repair there. More Psy Storm being cast, dealing damage across many of those Zealots there. As both sides are taking damage on their expansions. The high yield mineral location pretty much losing many of those SEVs so far. And now, Marauders trying to give chase. Those Colossi should be able to hold their own against that army there. But there are reinforcements now coming in. Nama doing a great job holding on to this game um, so far. Um, even though Colossi have been produced, more level 1 weapons upgrade, a medevac now being trained, and no, level 2 weapons upgrade, excuse me. So those Colossi will be able to deal um, about 38 damage per round of attack. When you add it, when you add, factor in the fact that there are 4 Colossi, that is enough if those Colossi are grouped together to s and just slice down a line of Marauders very, very quickly. Level 3 weapons upgrade, Vikings now being trained 
like four of them at the same time double reactors most likely not going to look for it as the level one weapons upgrade also being trained for the ships level three weapons upgrade for the infantry once again on the move colossi now coming into this position over here vikings now coming in no stalkers not enough stalkers anyways and there are some size storm able to cast underneath those vikings that generally like to group together if you're not very careful with your vikings they are spreading back out they intend to group together similar to mutilus i guess you can use magic box technique on vikings as well but yeah ma magic box is more against um against thors than against anything else now i'm gonna try to turn off the hit points as so many units makes it very very difficult i will not be able to select anything that easily and i'm turning it on and off throughout this fight and back over here taking a look at the army size we have what seven thousand eight thousand for nama against uh, 5400 so both sides are now very very or sorry and nama is sitting on a very very large army and now ghosts are quickly being um, cloaked and that a lot of emp shockwaves quickly e depleting all the energy across there however now in comes a scanner sweep doing a lot of damage across those units there another emp shockwave and now in come those like uh, in come those colossi vikings in the air trying to shoot down against many of those colossi however so much damage has been dealt both sides doing a lot of damage and suffering a lot of damage in come those high templar as well a high templar getting a lot of critical feedback and now in comes another nuke but those units are going to simply be able to walk past it no where is that ghost ghost um no don't know where it is that go that nuke has been canceled as more zealots and um, being on both sides and now mana recovering from that battle very nicely 2900 versus 2725 income wise terran player nama still in the lead uh, be, being able to mine off of this high yield mineral location probably will be able to call down some mules as well as yeah maximum energy on an orbital command a little bit sloppy from the terran player but uh, he still has a significant advantage so far 4250 coming in from nama production wise you can see level three infantry upgrades nearing completion as now in comes a drop of marauders and marines vikings now moving out stim marauders making their way out and now zealots doing a lot of damage so far zealots now trying to surround over here those medevacs quickly getting the heck out of dodge do not want to engage against a very very large army of colossi those colossi however no armor upgrades whatsoever a third colossi now being um, built as well so it's going to be no so a fourth colossi so four colossi or five colossi now six colossi wow that is a lot of colossi and now level one ground armor a, gr a ground armor for those units mouse mana as he chrono boosts this he will be able to get a lot of upgrades very relatively quickly and we do have the twilight council not quite sure why level three weapons upgrade is not being completed perhaps the amount of time is just simply too long we now have 10 vikings in the air and now nama sitting on a very very large army indeed and now also sitting on a f large amount of ghosts seven ghosts and those ghosts are very very expensive units but worth their weight in gas right now as those emp shockwaves have simply been destroying those high templars i do not see any motherships being brought into play so you are not going to have any cloaked high templar anytime soon even if you did vikings are simply able to counter that very very quickly and no high temp or no stalkers down here so those vikings are going to be desperately in trouble trying to run away and now run round of attack down goes another colossus another colossus taking another round of attack there stalkers trying to get underneath stalkers do not have stalker blink and now are those stalkers going to be able to do anything ghosts now trying to come in as well ghosts are going to be em able to emp shockwave getting more damage dealt across multiple colossi as those Colossi are now trying to pull back once again, those Vikings did take a fair amount of damage. And then in comes some more sniping ghosts. Sniping ghosts quickly picking off another High Templar. There are no observers to be seen. And in comes, oh, a Psy Storm. Nicely done being cast across the group there. Are we going to get another Psy Storm there? And now that nuke is about to land in just a second. This is not going to be very good. And in comes another EMP Shockwave. Needs to pull out there. I believe they are too close. And now taking damage across those Marauders. This Nexus will get taken down. Things are not looking good. These High these stalkers do not have blink level one ground armor now completed so perhaps that's what he's waiting for in order to engage mining out is going to be very very difficult but nama did not walk up this ramp and did not attack or just go for the throat and go for the jugular kill very interesting that he did not want to go for that kill there he did not want to get all of his army trapped up in a very very tight location there the vikings would have been able to deal significant damage towards those colossi but those vikings are not being repaired which is absolutely a critical mistake on top of that many of these ghosts should be decloaked in order to get some additional energy and now we're getting the gravitic boosters for those observers so those observers will be able to move out much more quickly a couple mar lone marauders tr quickly finding themselves and eating some lasers in the face right there and quickly getting cleaned up but now every single mineral patch 
has a command center or has been mined out or has a nexus, obviously, as Protoss players can't build command centers. And for any of you guys who are sticklers on description, we now have what a couple, what nuke is still being um, built up, two additional command centers, more ghosts. Production wise, I'm a little curious as to how Nama is just um, currently supply locked at 200 and not engaging, sitting on 3,000 minerals. Mana, same thing, also supply locked. But sitting on a 200, uh, but does not sit on as many minerals at all, production-wise. Level 3 weapons upgrade. As the Vikings are now on the move, the Vikings have been repaired. And now in come those Stalkers. Stalkers are now dealing a lot of damage. More EMP Shockwaves could be coming in. However, a lot of those Ghosts do not have any energy. That is very, very bad sign indeed. And so many of those Ghosts getting taken down there. High Side Storm now coming in as well. Doing a lot of damage across the board. And now as more High Templars being warped in, that's going to be a very, very bad sign indeed. And now getting another Side Storm on some of those Vikings. As those Vikings are just holding in that position. Taking so much damage. Those Vikings now quickly getting killed. As this Colossi army may simply be able to attack move EMP shockwaves more ghosts getting damaged and destroyed stalkers continuing to just join in on the fight stalkers able to take down this viking here and things are not looking good nama getting rolled over in this fight stalkers colossi size storm and what a great comeback from mana once again and what nama says gg wow so game three and game four in this crazy matchup mouse mana simply able to like macro up a very large army. It looked as though Nam sorry, Mana was able to macro up a very large army. It looked as though the Terran player had him on the ropes on a number of occasions, had a stronger army, had a larger army, and also had a stronger economy. You can see now that he still has a stronger economy. But those critical size storms here, taking down so many of those Vikings, and then also that splash damage from those Colossi, and just hitting a lot of those ghosts as well, just right next to them, taking so much damage, and those ghosts are such expensive units, similar to um, those High Templars. It simply bottled down to who was able to execute with their micro better, and Mana inched out by an inch. And able to just push out with those high Templars, get critical feedbacks on Medivacs when it counted, get, got those Psy Storms down. One Psy Storm plus Colossi Extended Thermal Lance Range equals dead Infantry Army, dead Marine Marauder. Didn't even need Force Fields to try to contain his opponent. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed Game 4 in this Best of 5 series. Stay tuned for Game 5 from the DreamHack Tournament. A special shout out to Day9 who originally casted this tournament. A lot of uh, some people were saying, hey, you kind of stole this. Well, the replays are public. I do know Sean. Sean knows me. Hopefully no hard feelings and I'm just promoting his tournament as well. Once again, thanks for watching.